What's up, Man 25 gamers? In today's episode of Scheme of the Week, we're going to be taking a look at how to stop the running Man 25 from the Nickel 335 formation. Remember, the Nickel 335 formation can be found in the 4 3 defensive playbook as well as many others. So you just need to check the playbook before you go into a game. The play I like to use for my run defense, um, I really like the two man under, to be honest with you. Uh, I, there are some other plays we can use. But in my opinion, uh, two-man under is just a very good play uh, for run defense. So what we want to do with this is typically the basic look is to shift our linebackers to the right and then throw Holly out wide. Now, when we're when we're looking at stopping the run, we're not gonna we're not gonna do that. Um, you see, it does a good job of stopping the halfback off tackle, but it leaves the halfback dive really wide open. So what I like to do to stop the run is I'll base on my defense, I'll shift my linebackers to the right, and I'll leave them shifted to the right. Then what I like to do is, I like to crash my defensive line down, and I like to shift my defensive line to the right. There's a way to get pressure out of this, and we'll show you a way in a moment. And then I like to slide Robinson down here, and one of the most effective things that I've found for run defense is to put your corner or your safeties here, um, put your user player in a spy, so for this example would be Barry, and put the other one in a purple zone, Lewis. All right, so now they're going to try to run the halfback off tackle. My job is basically just to come up and tackle him. That's kind of my that's kind of my job. And, and you're basically the safety's job. The edge is already going to be set because of the way we set up the D. Um, so it's my job as a safety to come down. Whoops, I need to leave him manned up. My job as a safety to come down and basically just wrap up. So here we go. Snap go, I come down, I blow up that fullback, and now you see we're holding Jamal Charles to, uh, you know, a one or two yard gain. And then let's look at this out of the halfback dive. One of the most effective runs in the game. We're using with Barry. And here we see halfback dive, we just blow it up. And I love this run defense because, I mean, Jamal Charles is just sick in this game, but... If you want, if you saw that, I don't know if I, I might not be able to have enough room in this replay to go back and look. But we just, yeah, I don't. Dang it. This yes, replay this year sucks. Uh, sorry, but it does. <laughs> but right there, you saw, we just blew the dive up in the backfield. And a lot of people can't say they can do that. Um, so now you guys got a really good run defense, in my opinion. So here we go, run the ball again, halfback off tackle this time. We have to. We, that's the only thing that kind of threatens this uh, run defense is if the halfback tackle can get to the um, can get through the front, then we're in trouble because of the we put the safety in the flat on the left to on, monitor the counter. But it's it's my job as a user player to get in there and blow the fullback up and force that run to the outside. You see the edge is set. Let's take a look. That's a really good example there. Um, the thing I love about this is the the edges are going to be set. They can't get wide on us because the cornerback on the right. And they're not going to be able to get wide on us because of the linebackers and alignment. So it's our job to just get in there, shrug that fullback off, and force the run to go outside. We're basically just shooting a gap, um, basically similar to the way we would do it in Madden 12. Um, and that's what I really love about this running fence is it, it's very simple to set up. It's all global and then just mainly moving a couple of guys. But... It's like you don't really have to manually move. If you really don't want to, you don't have to. And then let's take a look at this dive real quick. Um, real quick. And we're, it's, remember, it's our job just blow it up. We see dive. We just come up, blow it up in the backfield. And it's, it's one of those run defenses, guys, that is very good against read option. Uh, what I like to do on this one, on this run defense, is I almost always will option the running back because I feel like my user skill, I can kind of hold the quarterback out. And uh, I think, I don't know if I have a read option out of this playbook. But remember, we're just shooting the gaps. We're trying to force the run to go wide uh, where we'll be waiting for it. All right, let's see if we have a read option just so I can show you the idea. And I, I'm pretty sure that's what I like to do. I think if I can remember how I was working on when I was working on this the other day because I was getting, I had a really good pass, excuse me, I have a really good pass defense, but my run defense wasn't as good from this. Um, I might not have a read option, guys. I might have to. Might have to save that for in-game analysis. Yeah, I don't have one. Oh, I got a Wildcat. So we'll just run the counter. And at, what I do is I always option play um, the halfback because Lewis is going to get wide over here. And I know now that it's my job on Wildcat to go wide. So here, option play the halfback. 
snap go and he should keep it with with his guy and you see I can just wrap up there um that's ugly Jamal Charles just was like I don't care um typically they won't be able to run down the middle though because the wildcat you can for some reason this year but there we go set it up and go and remember, it's our job. If I just set the edge, force him to go, first force him to go it back to the inside. It's kind of your job. You're just kind of holding off. So let's take a look at this instant replay. Um, the fake. You see how you have the wide protection there? It's mainly your job. You just gotta kind of contain the run to the inside. A lot of times, it's not gonna actually happen. Wildcat's really the only formation that they can really run back to the inside, in my opinion. But this is a really good job because you see, at the snap, there's no way he's giving that ball to the running back, and then we're just kind of filling the voids. So, that's the run defense, guys. I hope it helps for you. Uh, real quick, if they do decide to pass, I want to show you that. Um, say they decide to pass out of this formation, and we're setting up that, uh, that, that play. Uh, it's not the best pass defense, that's for sure. But it isn't that bad, because you're sending... Um, sometimes, I mean, you could send six if you want. You got everybody manned up. Um, you're responsible for the one guy that's not manned up, so like here... When I put my quarterback spy, okay, I see. So I know that if A goes out on a route, I have to go with him. So here A goes out on a route, I go with him. And you see, the pressure is not going to come free, but it gets in there pretty quick. And it's just kind of one of those things, like, it, they're going to catch you wrong every now and then. But it's like, do you want to give up 30 yards on a dive, or do you want to maybe give up 10 yards on the out route? I'd rather give up 10 yards on the out route and, and, and kind of force him to force him to throw and, and then just lock up his easy reads. So... Thanks for watching today, guys. I hope that this uh, run defense can help you in Madden 25, especially out of the 335. And uh, if you guys have any trouble with it, let me know. I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. But remember the setup, and uh, hopefully it can help you guys. Tomorrow we're going to be going over some pressure out of the Nickel 335, uh, which I'm pretty excited about. Thanks for watching today. We'll see you tomorrow with our base zone blitz.